Kelowna Museums is looking forward to International Women's Day on March 8th. And in celebration of this, they are sharing stories of some of the Okanagan's historical women who have had a huge impact on the community. The first story takes us back to the 1920s when Dr. Reba Schoenfeld was pursuing science, something unusual for women to do during that time. So Dr. Reba Schoenfeld, she was one of two daughters of the Willits family. So our, some of our longtime residents here in Kelowna, they might remember Willits Drugstore on Bernard Avenue. And Reba's father encouraged her to pursue medicine which was something she was interested in, but very few women were in medicine at the time. She traveled all the way to the University of Toronto, studied there. She came back out west, interned at the Vancouver General Hospital, and she ended up working here in Kelowna, very closely with Dr. Boyce. We have lots of Dr. Boyce's medical collection on display here at the museum. And I imagine that Dr. Reba Schoenfeld probably used a lot of those medical instruments as well. Her story takes an interesting turn when she goes back to school. She traveled back to the University of Toronto and she was the first woman ever in the history of the university to receive a degree in public health. So she was a true trailblazer. Schoenfeld spent much of her career working in Vancouver before retiring and marrying in Kelowna. She lived the rest of her life here and passed away in 1977 at the age of 71. The next historical women of the Okanagan that we're exploring was a nurse who was widely known for her community and healthcare work. If there's anything that this past year has taught us, it's that compassion and kindness go a long way. And that's something that Christina Leafly lived by. She was born in 1916. She lived most of her life in Kelowna. And as a young woman, she trained to become a nurse. But she was so much more than a nurse. Christina organized blood donor clinics. She sat on the hospital board of directors. She volunteered for Meals on Wheels. And she was a founding organizer of the Candy Striper program in the hospital, a program that provides companionship to the hospital patients. Leithley earned three Queen Elizabeth Jubilee medals, silver, gold, and diamond, for her remarkable work. She passed away in 2019 at the age of 102. You can learn about more women of the Okanagan through some of the museum's upcoming virtual events or by visiting them downtown. For Castanet News, I'm Miriam Halpenny in Kelowna.